from the world. Oh shit, I'm raided, baby. I'm raided. The day has finally come. Let's go ahead and hop on down there and see what's going on. Raid base is right up there. Fantastic. Okay, so they went through right here. All right, cool. And they actually did destroy all my externals. Well, destroyed the window to get inside the externals. I said that at one point I was going to put down a garage door on each of these, did I? No. <laughs> Probably should have, but I'm not even mad that this shit's already... Ah, yeah, they did get back there. Because, yeah, I had a secret box behind my, uh, behind my locker upstairs. And our couple boxes right here. Okay, okay. And they actually do. Wow. Yeah, they really did get everything, except for the furnaces right here. It's crazy to think I probably could have just filled up all these furnaces with sulfur, and they would and they would have never actually got them. That would have been crazy, huh? Wait, how's this back triangle gone? Like, sometimes there's things that are gone inside the bases that I get raided in, and it's like, how is this back triangle gone? I don't quite understand. Let me just say this. You guys want to know how much sulfur they fucking got? They probably got about 3k GP. Not that that matters too much, like, whatever, but, like, I'm just saying, that's, uh, I mean, like, if they were raiding me to get sulfur, it was terrible. And here we are on a new server, right? It's daytime, and actually, okay, yeah, the sun rises on the east, okay, yeah, we should have a lot of day daytime ahead of us. I'm trying to think what our startup approach should be, though. Should I try hitting up oil rig instantly for a start? I mean, I don't have any BPs on here, so that's kind of the thing, so, I don't know what I would go there with, but... I don't know, I'm trying to think on exactly how I want to start out this next season. Take a quick stone pickaxe. Aw, oh, dude, like, just look at this base. Oh my god. How has that group over there that has windmills and shit? Like, how have they not raided this thing? I don't know, like, sometimes I just see bases next to other bases that are just, like, stacked and... It just doesn't make any sense how that base even exists right now. And actually, I need to get the stone. No, that's my bad. Honestly, the way that we could go about this if we want is we could get a gun from a shop. I wonder if anyone on this server is selling ammo because if I could just buy a gun and ammo, I mean, getting key cards isn't going to be that difficult. There's like no trees around here, man. Fuck. This is like the spot to live at if I want to be going over to Oil Ray, but if there's no trees here and no safe zone near here kind of rough unless i just want to just live inside of like a shitty like one by two honeycomb base this wipe and just go with the flow inside of a shitty base i mean like i'm cool with that not be having to grind up metal and stuff just live a bit more simply you could still live inside of a vault and eventually get like a full sheet vault but actually we have a bit of a decayed base down here let's go check this out there is a lock on the tc so i can't leave the tc i wonder what the foundation's down to though maybe it's pretty weak. Then we could get some shit from this. Oh yeah, man, 62. It's actually not bad. Got some fins and stuff here as well, dude. Okay. It's not the worst. This TC could definitely have some stuff inside of it. I, uh, here, actually I have 30 cloths. Just go to make a bag. Because now, listen, last wipe I wasn't really doing oil rig too much until, like, the last two episodes. Okay, the last two episodes I went there a couple times, right? Uh, but the entire wipe, pretty much, I decided not to go there. Just to kind of take a step back from it. Roam around the map for PvP and all that. Oh, shit. But now we're at the next wipe. And this next wipe, I don't know, I might need to be going there. And honestly, like, I'm not saying this as if everyone here hates oil rigs. I know that the majority of people like oil rig, but you have those few people that, like, yo, man, take a step back from oil rig, man. It's getting repetitive. And, like, I 100% hear you on that. I just need to find more stone. That over there is sulfur, metal. There's like a shit ton of metal and sulfur here, obviously, because it's the snow, but... Fuck, man, I cannot find the stone that I need for my base. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to find all the stone that I need right now, thankfully. We can plop down this base here in just a moment. This is going to be my last stone node right here. So the way that we can get our blue card is just by fishing at the fishing village, and then I already have... A green key card, so then we can end up hitting up airfield to get a red key card, or just hit up Arctic Research to get a red key card. Kind of depends on what we're feeling and how much like <laughs> stuff we have to fight. Cause Arctic, it's like the red card's very easy to like walk up to, but you have to like fight through bots and stuff. So, ah, oh, fuck me! Don't come outside! Don't come outside! Don't come outside! Don't come outside! Ooh, I think that I'm okay. 
I want to see how fast small oil rig gets taken because right as we joined this server, it had like just respawned. So. I just need to get a little bit more wood. Yeah, I mean, fuck, man. I'm trying to think exactly what we should do about, like, the whole wood situation. Fuck, because, like, I don't have cloth either, so, like, recycling is, like, a bitch right now because I don't have any good recycling spots nearby, dude. Oh, no. I guess that what I can try to do... I'm just going to make one small box right now, right? And then I guess that I'm just going to hit up the road and just hit a shit ton of barrels. I mean, I'm 30 HP, 4 hunger. I mean, I guess that I could just respawn. I have a bag that's kind of close by. Then I can come back, take one of these tools out with me, hit up the road. Maybe with all the barrels that I hit, I can maybe get enough wrap protection of clothing, right? That would be really cool. Actually, right before I do respawn and come and loot up my uh, tool, I'm going to hop down here and get a little bit of food that I can eat as soon as I... Get back to my body as well. Yeah, right here. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Yeah, plus sun's gonna be setting over there on the west here pretty soon. So yeah, we need to we need to try and utilize this daytime cycle as much as we can right now. Fuck man, but then actually yeah, no. At nighttime, I can uh come over here and try getting that TC loot where the foundation was at like 60 HP. Oh fuck. Fuck, guys, this is a fucking problem here. This guy's gonna fucking loot my body, dude. Oh, no. Or no, is he? He passed my body. He passed it. Holy shit, how the fuck did he just not pass my body? I mean, I do just have, like, a naked body on the ground. It's not like it's anything major, but it had food and a tool for me, so kind of surprised that he didn't even loot it i appreciate that though thank you to him even though it was probably unintentional but either way he deserves a thank you for not just now killing me oh shit paddle it'd be nice to have this thing to farm barrels with but nope can't be a thing can't do it guys i can't go to the dark side you kidding me Already got a tank top. That's two rat protection. Nice. Yeah, like, just keep on giving me more shit like that. It just kind of sucks because out here in the snow, I'm not going to be finding any cloth on the ground. So I can't really rely on that. Unless I just want to run all the way to the forest biome. I guess it's not the worst idea. This road is looking very empty, so... Yeah, it's probably in my best interest to just go to the forest biome and try and get some rat protection real quick. Let's go. A lot of people are telling me to check out Shutter Island of DiCaprio's movies. I ended up watching Wolf of Wall Street yesterday, enjoyed it, had a very good ending. The movie got a lot better toward the end, I feel like. I don't know if I just wasn't paying the most attention, but it felt like it got a lot better and a lot more interesting toward the very end. Oh, shit. Of course there's a guy back there, and he just doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck. I could have a SAR or an AK set, and that guy would have still just now left his base to come and try killing me. That's crazy to me. Get my cloth that I want, though, thankfully. I'd love to be getting, like, a lot of these barrels and stuff, too, but whatever. More cloth right here. Good. More. Oh, my goodness, game. You're feeding me so much right now. Oh, yes, there we go. Now we're good to farm barrels. I'm just saying, though, guys, I'm just saying, like, to the people that rock with me with the whole paddle thing, you guys gotta respect that I didn't just now take the paddle back there. I'm just saying. And now the game even just now, like, gave me some good karma and gave me this tool for farming barrels. And I can't help but think that it's just because I ditched that paddle back there. The rust gods are just like, I like this guy. Oh, nice. Got two diesel here. I could, there's, I, there's actually a chance that I could just sell diesel on here to get things that I want. Like, sell one diesel for, like, 10,000 wood. That could be our wood profit or even 5k wood. I'm fine with that. It's pretty rare that you sell shit for wood in this game in a shop, but I feel like it would sell. 
Alright, bow on the way. And a little bit of arrows, of course. I'm gonna keep four rope, I guess, for um, crossbows, obviously. That's a good run right there, though, man. My goodness. Really, really good run. Now we can get back home by the time that it's uh, dark. And we can go and raid that foundation with this, as pirates call it, pussy smacker. Oh, someone's over here on the road. Whoever he is, he has, like, at least a crossbow with how his hands are holding that shit right there. Actually, he just now turned... Oh, yeah. Fuck, dude, there's another guy that's over there. Run! Don't tell me that these guys have guns, please. There's two of them, though. One of them's just harvesting a bear over there. I'm just minding my business. I mean, as soon as I'm out here with a crossbow and I'm, like, I'm 100 HP... Best believe I'm going to be going after those guys. We're just in the super early game stage where we're just kind of setting ourselves up for the future, you know? Alright, here I am. Nice. Successful run right there. Alright, one minute here. I'm going to go over here to this base. And actually, wait, did the foundation on it just break? No, never mind. This is a different base right here. And wait. Oh, someone else fucking destroyed this TC, dude. Fuck. No. Unless the foundation just decayed. It did. Nothing fell. Unless someone else got it. Someone else could have definitely got it, but... Alright, whatever. Life goes on. I can actually come back and pick up that furnace. That'll be good. After I pick this furnace up and bring it over to my shit, I guess that I'm gonna, um... Go over to Fishing Village as it's nighttime and just try getting a blue card. It's probably worth it, you know? For sure. Alright, it's time to dip. Let's go. Go ahead and take our horse over to the fishing village and start fishing, try and get this blue card. Then I guess that as soon as we get the blue card, we can just head on over to airfield and uh, get the red card. Kill the bots, loot up some green crates, hopefully. Maybe get a gun. We'll see if we get lucky. See, I don't know, man. Like, I'm wondering how I really want to go about this whole oil rig thing. I can, I mean, I could just buy a gun. I could just make my way over to Outpost and then just buy one from a shop, I guess. But then ammo becomes a problem, you know what I mean? And I can learn ammo if I learn that gun, craft that gun. But, I don't know. Then I have to grind up a tier 2, and that's like an entire grind. And, like, it's not like that hard of a grind, but... It's one that I would prefer to skip if I can, <laughs> you know. So I'm wondering if I can just buy ammo. Because if I can buy ammo and a gun, then we're going to be good. We can just go there as soon as we have key cards. Is this it? Nope. Alright, that's not 4 20% that I've lost on. Fish, get over! Oh my god! That fish struggles the most that it's struggled the whole fucking time right at the very end. And then I get greedy. And I know that that right there was a good fish, too, because the better the, uh, the fish it is, the more that it's, like, pulling on your shit, the harder that it is to reel in. Okay, this one right here was, like, nothing, because it's a shitty-ass sardine. Fish, fish, fish! Small shark, oh my god, blue card? Nope, alright. Uh, that's now 520% that I've lost out on. Okay. And it's now bit off my hand. I didn't know that I had these zombie abilities where I could just bite off an entire ligament. Is that the right word? Is ligament the right word? I have to look that up. I might have just now sounded like an idiot. Ligament is a fibrous connective tissue that attaches bone to bone and usually serves to hold structures together and to keep them stable. Okay, so I was on to something. Because, yeah, my entire hand just now came off my arm, so... There's definitely some ligamentation going on in there. Some ligamentation removal. Alright, yep, salmon. Blue card. Yep. Oh! Yep, I'm out of here. Sorry. Sorry, I got excited. Jump up on top of the fucking dock, boy! Alright, well that took long enough, but eh. Got 143 animal fat and all the fucking food that we're gonna need for maybe like the rest of the wipe, so. That's not too bad. Plus I can even feed my horse some of the raw food to get it a little bit of stamina. Now I guess that our next step here is just gonna be, uh... Oh. Horse, you're not eating any more food. Why? Why are you not eating any more? <laughs> okay, there we go. Was it just a little bit too far back for you, or what? Okay. This horse might die in a second. I'm not too sure. Okay, yeah, so the health is 302. What happens if I drop this in? Okay. Now what's its health? Still 302. Yeah, it's getting, like, no stamina from that, I don't think. I'm just going to go home and cook it, I guess. 
I mean, unless I should just go over to uh, oil rig just with like a bow. <laughs> just like go crossy nail gun, dude, imagine. I mean, I'm not here to say that I can't do that, but if I'm getting countered up the ass, it's not going to happen, guys. Like, I just can't see it happening if I'm getting countered. Oh, well, here we go. Still only have one door on our shit. I would have a second wood door, but, I mean, there is technically, and there is trees there. I'm not going to lie, but I'm getting greedy, guys. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Horse, why are you not eating more than one piece of food when I drop it for you? Like, why do I have to re-drop it for you to eat the food? I don't understand. Eat fish. It's your natural food. You're a carnivore, all right? We see you out there in those fields eating rats. I'm joking. All right, tool crew right here is going to have a jackhammer, a chainsaw, or an axe. I'll take that. Thank you, game. All right, gun. Nope, but I got my fucking fuse. I actually had got a fuse on my previous run, but I had recycled it. I didn't even think about it. I'm actually excited to see, man, with oil rig on here, I wonder if the heavy scientists are going to be bugged out and just staying on top of the helipad. Because, I mean, if I'm going to be hitting up that place with, like, a revolver, like, something really shitty like that, I would prefer that, I think. <laughs> Fighting heavies with a revolver as they're just running around, I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but it's not going to be easy. Okay, I just now got two paddles in a row. The paddle god's really t trying to test me right now. And paddle god, it's not going to happen. All right, it's just not going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw these. Oh! Mm, never mind, he's going to get the paddles. That was very, very, very unlucky. It's actually giving me deja vu from last wipe when I was on a mining run and an AK guy just fucking beamed me out of nowhere. I think that guy left the majority of my stuff, though, so... Oh, it scared the fuck out of me, dude. Holy shit. I think that he left the majority of my stuff, though, like I said. So I'm just going to get inside my base, make a quick uh, set for, like, rad protection, and I'm just going to run back. Hopefully I can make it. He took my horse, though. That's fucked up. Wait, my body already turned into a bag? What the fuck? That was quick. Ah, he took my bow, man. Like, why do you take bows, dude? He even took a paddle. At least I was still able to throw one away. I guess that's the bright side, but now I am weaponless once again. All right. And he left my fuse, so I guess that's good. There is some, you know, good things that happened, I guess. I just, I can't believe he takes a bow. There's so, why do people take bows, guys? Like, I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe he dropped it on his way out. One minute here. Sometimes, like, people will kill you and loot you, but then they'll, like, drop stuff as they leave. And I feel like he might have just left on the horse and then dropped my bow as he left, maybe. I just have to trace his tracks with where he went, which I have no idea what direction that really would have been in, but I'm just super shocked, man. Taking bows as a tier two guy. As some and you know, like, okay. I get it from a from a standpoint of, well you were shooting at me, like you were fucking with me, you should have been fucking with me. I didn't even get to fucking do anything to the guy, you know? So it's like He's really just taking it to be an asshole, and I just, I don't understand that mindset. It's all good, though, because the Rust Gods will strike that dude. Real life karma will strike that fucking guy. Life will punch his ass in the face, and he will, uh, he's not even gonna be aware on what caused it, but, it, I mean, it all just came down to taking my bow on Rust. But you guys wanna know something that's okay, because there's gonna be a green crate or a base crate up here that's gonna have a gun inside of it for me. Just kidding. I can't believe that guy even took a paddle. Like, I told you guys. I tried to tell you. Some of you guys didn't believe me, but he saw those two paddles, and he made sure that with the inventory that he already had, that he was sure to grab one of those. And not not only that, but just like my bow, it was like, how dare you hold on to these paddles? They're mine. He probably noticed that I had one in my hand and that I was going to chuck it out, and then he was just like, yeah, nah, man. Can't be doing that. You have to respect the paddle god. That's what this guy's thinking, you know? And that's just, like, devil-level shit. I wish him the best, uh, you know, throughout his years of recovery, though. When he's like, yeah, I am kind of on the dark side. I hope that it happens for him, because it's sad to see, you know? It's sad to see people uh, in that position, you know, and not, not even be aware that what they're doing is destroying humanity. <laughs> so far, my crate luck has been pretty uh, doo-doo. Code sign gloves. Yeah, oil rig got taken, by the way. It's gone. Yeah, we definitely have some people on here that are just looping that shit. But again, it's like, it's nothing new. Every single server is like that. 
Oh, small oil is already back up, dude. Damn, dude, that, wait, it came up quick. Wow. Unless time's just been flying on here. I don't know. Maybe it has been. Sorry for the lack of PvP. I've just been grinding out shit, you know, setting ourselves up, like I've said. It's kind of how it always is anytime that I restart. Like, you don't really expect too much PvP from me early on. Unless I'm going for, like, a snowball startup, which can happen, but... That's usually on, like, high-ass pop servers. This is, like, more of a balanced server. So me going out and just only looking for people to fight isn't really the most reliable option. So I'm just taking care of business right now, all right? Like an adult. Here we are. Deep all this different stuff. So now I have my fuse. I could go and fucking get, a. Uh... Let's go fucking get this red card, dude. Fuck it. Let's just bite the bullet with it, guys. The problem is, Dylan, you need two fuses. Fuck, dude. Damn it. Oh, no. Wait, one auto musket for four barrels of black water? Oh, shit. Dude, that's a fucking AK. And then all that I would have to do is grind up a tier two, get 5-5, five five, research 5-5, five five, craft up 5-5, five five, learn med. We don't even have to learn med, honestly. We can just get meds from the bots there. I don't even care about going to oil rig with meds. I'm going to go back home and get all my diesel, and we can literally buy a fucking AK for four diesel. At least I think. That's what an auto musket is, right? Yeah, auto musket, yeah. Hopefully it's not, like, super beat up, though, man. I'm really hoping that the durability is not low. Fuck. Aw, oh, shit, man. Scrap heli right here. These guys better not drop on me, dude. Oh. Someone just now fucking jumped out of the thing. Dude, he just now jumped out of the thing and fell down all the way down here to airfield. They're landing. They're going to make it to his body before me, though, dude. Fuck! Yep, he's dead right there. Holy fuck, dude, this is my gear set. This is my gear set for over there. We have our gun. Full durability MP5. Got some pistol bullets we can research. Let's just fucking get out of here. I'm okay with going with MP5. It's not like my favorite fucking weapon in the game or anything, but like, it works. I can kill bots with this shit. It's full durability. Alright, outpost run does not need to happen. Holy shit, someone actually just now fell out of a fucking scrap hell and I was able to get to him. It looked like they were landing. It looked like they were landing and the, the, like they were going to make it before me, but I guess not, dude. That was like a gift from the gods. Like, you know, but the problem is, dude, I still need a fuse. That's the thing. You know, hopefully I can get a fuse from like one of these barrels right here. Because that's all that I need to go and do this key card run. It's about to turn nighttime. If I could just get the red key card by when it's daytime, we could instantly go to oil rig by when it respawns. Actually, no, oil rig is already respawned and someone's probably already there, to be honest. So I'm probably going to have to go... I mean, I could just swim there and try countering. Like we're, we're able to try doing that if we really want, but... I don't have a wetsuit, so I don't want to go and buy a wetsuit just so I don't get too cold. Okay, made it back home with the gear set. Nice, dude. Let's fucking go. I'm going to go over to Dome and loot up that place, I guess. Hopefully I'll get a fuse from there. And as soon as we end up getting that fuse, obviously we all know what we're going to do. Yeah, but I'm seeing the scrap heli up there to the right, dude. I wonder if they came over and looked for his body. I don't know, like, I'm kind of surprised that, like, they didn't just land right on it. Because cause the guy that fell down should have told them that, yeah, no, I fell down right inside of airfield, da 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 right? He should have been able to tell them that. But I don't know if he did, like, I don't know. The fact that I made it to the body first doesn't really make too much sense to me. All right, fuse right here, this crate, calling it. Boop, easy. All right, well, that's it. Let's just go back home, depot this bit of stuff, then make the run over to airfield, get this shit over with. And I'm just going to go with the MP5 that I got just to make it super efficient and easy and make sure I don't die with my key cards. Because if I'm going to die with my key cards, I might as well die with my gun too. Like, I mean, not that I should die with my gun, but, yeah, someone's actually calling in the heavies right now. You can see that Chinook helicopter pulling in. So we're going to be ready to go on the next run, guys. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, man. We're going to get countered, dude. That, that, like, the place has been getting looped ever since I got on. I mean, honestly, now that I have a... Ugh, fuck, dude, I don't know. I'm wondering if I should just go over to Arctic Research and get the red card. Because that isn't really... Like, now since we have an MP5, it's not going to be the hardest thing to do. You know what I mean? 
So I feel like I could maybe just go do that. Just bring the green card with me. Or the blue card, sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna try that out, dude. Fuck it, we're just gonna take a little bit of a risk. It's closer by. And then after we get that red card, then we can go and get the, uh, another red card from Airfield afterwards. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do that, I guess. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Airfield's the safe place. So maybe I should just go to Airfield, secure that red card. Then as soon as I'm back home safe, then go out, risk the blue card, and try and get another one from Arctic. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. If this whole approach with us starting up like this, going to oil rig, if it fails, we're gonna respawn at home and we're gonna have nothing, okay? <laughs> Besides a bow. And, uh, so if I do die, like, I need to be completely mentally prepared for that, you know? I can't take it too serious, I can't get mad about it. I need to be ready for that outcome to... Like, I need to look at that outcome as a serious possibility, because it may happen, right? Uh, I'm gonna be going into it, like, confident, whatever, but... Done. All the bots are dead. Fantastic. Red key card. Hello. How are you doing? Alright, beautiful. Get inside of here. Take out this key card. And let's go ahead and get the fuck out of here. If I just had like a double barrel or like a water pipe or something. I mean, dude, actually, I don't know. Maybe I should just go and just try risking a fucking quick thing over at Oil Rig. I'm not going to bring anything crazy. I'm going to bring a diving tank, a set of fins, and a wetsuit, and then like any yoka with like some of these you know what i mean like nothing crazy but just something to just go fucking give it a quick shot with see if we can get a legendary come up there because if it's just a solo player with like a sar that could work out for sure because either way there's going to be this large gap of time that we just have to wait for oil rig to respawn right so we have a lot of time to go over there and get that other red card at arctic if we want i feel like we need to take advantage of this little bit of time we just now got some uh shells right here we should try and take advantage of this with like an Eoka. Make like two Eokas, have one for slug, one for flaming shells. I'm even down to bring our uh, like little stupid like bow gear so we can bring a bow with us as well. I got got the train outside my house blaring its horn. Fun fucking tastic. Nah, it's best for it to just get the horns over with right now before I uh before I show up to this place. Man, if the train's honking like that as I show up and I'm climbing on, that's gonna be a problem. All right, let's go. Time to make the swim, baby. Oh, shit. Yep, already got a mini copter squad right here. Oh, man. See, like, the good thing about this, even if we're just the first people to climb on here as soon as everyone's gone and the crate's gone, we're still going to get, like, double barrels and shit out of this. No one, like, the people that take this place and run it all the time are not going to be taking, like, revolvers, double barrels, and, like, all that shit. Hey, man, mini copter squad is just dipping. Unless he just dropped off his... Oh, yeah, no, no, they're both still in that. Okay. All right, well, the bot on the very bottom is still alive, just so we don't... Actually, yeah, a lot of bots on the bottom are alive. Oh, shit, dude. So it's a fucking... Oh, man, it's a minicopter squad that's here. Yep, I'm seeing him right now. I wonder if he's going to kill the bots at the bottom. Yep, he is. Yep, HMLMG. Yep, there's two of them. Both of them are down there toward the bottom now. Dude, if I just had, like, one grenade on me, I would have confidence of climbing up and nading them as they leave. I really would. Yeah, I'm just gonna start swimming over here right now, because I'm gonna be the first person that's here. Thankfully, I don't have to kill any bots now, though. That's nice. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're leaving. Which is fine with me. I don't give a fuck. All right, time to see what leftovers we have, guys. <laughs> it, like, if there's just, like, a DB here, I'll be happy with that. Like, like that is something, you know? So, I'll take anything. I think they left some of, like, the green crates and stuff. Yeah, like, they left some barrels here. Did they loot the crates inside here? They didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, like, there's still, there's still stuff here for us, for sure. All right, what all did you guys drop out of the Chinook crate? Nothing at all. You guys took every last thing. Okay. Green crate. Okay. Took every last thing right there. Every last thing right there. Okay, yeah, there actually might not be one thing here for me. These guys took every single thing from how it's looking. Let me actually just see. Are the bots' bodies up here? Nope. Wow, man. Holy shit. 
I'm surprised. These guys actually took every last possible thing, besides, like, barrels and some beige crates, but you have the poor solo players like me early game that come here looking for scraps. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, I want to be the first person to oil rig, guys, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Like, those guys that I just now saw leave there, like, they live in the snow. I saw their outfits. They had jackets on. So, which means that, well, obviously, they're going to be pretty close to oil rig. I don't know what our plan should be right now, but it's a little bit worrying with this whole thing. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get there in time. I just don't know if I, like, want to be outside of it waiting with a boat or what, because I feel like there's going to be other people that are doing that shit, so I don't even know, man. This is going to be rough, guys. Like, we have to we have to get really lucky here with how fast the other squads get there with minicopters and shit. Alright. We're now airlocked, guys. I apologize for uh, how long that took. Alright. Let's go and let's uh, loot up Dome. Let's go. Dude, what is wrong with my fucking hand with this fucking Eoka? Okay. Dude, what the hell? Oh my god. I thought that it was just a thing in the water. Oh, wait, dude. This base up here ended up just now decaying. This entire thing was not decayed earlier, though. Oh, there is some stuff here. Oh, dude, yes! Oh my god! Huge. Oh my god, dude, fucking huge. We need to go back home, get a box down ASAP. That's already gone. Okay, that's fine. I really don't even give a shit about some of that stuff. Okay. This is big. This is really, really big. Now we're actually going to have some stuff to fall back on if we die there. Which, that's all that I care about. It's the fact that we're going there and having nothing to fall back on afterward that has me worried. You know what I mean? That's big, though, man. We can pick up those extra furnaces there as well. Seven diesel, dude. That is huge. I didn't even loot everything here, I don't think. Research table, I'm gonna need that. Only if there was, like, a tier two there. I mean, like, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Being like, oh, only, like, Dylan, shut your fucking ass up. He's now got given, like, two free tier two guns and shit. Like, a research table, some boxes, all this extra shit. Like, this is huge, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go and try getting this, uh, the freaking red card from what's it called, um, Arctic. That way, if we have a second red card, that also sets us up for a second oil rig run. Whether if that's tomorrow or later today, I'm not too sure quite yet if I'm gonna do it again if I die there. But getting another red card is, that's just, like, we need to take advantage of that as we have this blue on us. I'm seeing some bots, like, right there, okay. Running a, or okay, I, dude, there's fucking three there. Oh my god, that's rough. There's one that's right there, like right in front of the card rooms, dude. Shit. Fuck, man. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. Those two are way over there, man. They just now went all the way that way. Yes. It's actually looking kind of clear for me right now. Not like super clear, but I'm gonna fucking go for it. I think. Fuck it. Let's go. Oh, shit. Never mind, never mind. Fuck, dude, these bots are so annoying, too. Yeah, we need to fucking go now. Out of this bitch. Whew, that went about as smooth as you can fucking have it go there, man. I think there is, like, a possibility that no bots shoot at you if they're all in the perfect spot, but that right there went very, very smooth. And here we are. Beautiful. Okay. Whew. That is big. Not to mention I have nine SMG bodies. That is insane. Maybe I should just go on, like, a fat recycle run right now, because... I have a good amount of comps, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna start planning to do that. Oil rig's not respawned yet, but I'm seeing a minicopter kind of like go toward it almost. 
I feel like that minicopter just going to that base, though. Yeah, that's definitely what's going on. No doubt. Yep. Funny thing, I think that's actually the guys that were at Oil Rig, so I think that I know where they live now. Which is good. Someone's actually here, dude. Fuck. He's in, like, the back corner here. Alright, yeah, one minute here. It's time to get risky, my friends. Hopefully there's not, like, two or three in here. And if there is, hopefully they don't have, like, tier two gear. Yep. I'm fucking out of here. Fucking full metal guy, dude, of course. And I don't know if he's there alone, and, like, I don't... Uh, and, like, with all these comps on me, like, that's why I didn't really, like, want to risk it. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like risking it with all this shit on me. I'm just gonna fucking recycle over here. <laughs> I haven't ran into someone at that recycler for a minute, but it finally happened, and, well... It was a full metal guy, and if he was solo, I should've just stayed trying to fight him right there. I should've, but... I don't know. He could have easily had a teammate. Like, the moment that I see a full metal guy, I just instantly assume that he's not solo. Like, the chance is just a lot higher than not. Okay. Made it back home. Good. I have 850 scrap, which is amazing. That's enough for a tier 2, obviously. Alright. Oh my god, it's fucking open. Oh my god, dude, that is fucking terrible. I need to go. Bad. There's already a good chance that I'm not going to get here in time. But... If there are people here already, or if people show up as I'm super low down in the place and I can't do anything as they land, I'm going to jump down into the fucking water, swim home, depot my key cards, because I'm not about to lose my key cards when I have the option not to, right? I'd rather just depot them and keep it, and just keep them safe. It's kind of worth it, I feel like. So far, it's not looking like it, though. Seeing flashlights on the top from bots. We might be good to go, dude. I think that we're fine. Hopefully we are. Let's go. I despise that bot. Okay. Let's do this thing. A lot of the bots just like stand still and don't move much, which is nice. Are they not pushing, dude? So hard to understand why these bots work different when you show up here sometimes. I don't understand. The MP5 is easy to take this shit with. Not a bad choice for a gun, that's why I had mentioned that. Yeah, let's just keep it going. These things are so fucking annoying sometimes, let me tell you what. Okay. Dude, both the doors are just stuck open. Key cards were unnecessary. Oh my god. Start it up. Who cares? They're bugged. Yeah, I know exactly how I'm going to play this. So, the bots are bugged up there, obviously, as I just said. So, I'm going to be playing on level 3. I'm going to be ready to push up here and fight any minicopter guys, but then also be ready to drop down there and kill anyone that's climbing on this shit from underneath. So, it's pretty much our only option, I feel like. And again, like if nobody comes here at all and counters, I'm not even going to be that mad, because it's our first run. Let me have this fucking first run with no PvP. I mean, PvP's cool, I'll take it. As long as it's nothing too overwhelming and, you know, like, give me something kind of practical. I'm also open to just not having anybody show up, you know, even though it, yeah. Even though we kind of, like, want the PvP and shit, it's, I don't really care. Yeah, one minute.
Oh, these are all just spaz bots. Every single one of them, I think. Every single one of them was a fucking spaz bot. That's fucking crazy. All right, well. Go ahead and drop that. Drop this. Okay, let's go ahead and see what kind of loot we got here. Um, nothing crazy. Skip. Nothing crazy. Skip. I'll take the two meds for now, I guess. Take that ammo. Take the incense shells. Take that. Take that. And then take this. Take this. Okay, that's all for the heavies. Nothing crazy. Very basic stuff. Now we can drop this. Pick up that, that. Here we go. Oh my god, dude. Holy fuck. That's all done. Let me just come over here and loot up these green crates now. And then we're getting the fuck out of here. Whew. Jesus. Uh... Stop that out for a sheet metal, I guess, dude. Fuck it. Okay, let's just go ahead and get out of here. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this bot, too. Okay, boat. You don't need to start doing this silly shit right now, okay? That's enough out of you. Now I just need to make it home, but once we do, that's a fat fucking run. That's a very, very good oil run right there. No counters, don't even give a shit though. It's just weird because we live in a very, very shitty base. So I think that what we're gonna do, we have a lot of scrap. So I think that I'm gonna go down into like the tunnel system and go over to outpost with some scrap. I think that'll be our best play. And I'll just leave with like an MP5. Just so then that way at least we can obviously like seal up our base and everything. Dude, I might even just bring the AK. I mean, I don't know if I really want to bring the AK, but... Uh, no, nah, we can just bring SAR, I guess. Or MP5, I mean... Yeah, don't just bring MP5, I guess. Nah, SAR. Because if I bring MP5, I'm, like, I'm gonna feel the need to take the hollow and shit off the AK. Then if I die with that, I'm not gonna have a hollow for the MP5. So yeah, fuck that. Let's just bring this. This is a run that needs to happen, though, I feel like, dude. Just so we can get a full sheet vault done today. Stop whiffing, please. Hello there, laptop. Hello there, hatchet. Wait. Okay, that was not my base, thank God. That would have fucking sucked. Imagine if that was my base, though, man. That would have been a very... That would have been a kind of a bad way to end it. It is a double launch. Hi, boss. What's up? How you doing? That's above ground. Okay. Alright, bots are dead, and we should just about be to the outpost spot. Yeah, it's actually right over there, so that's gonna be... This This right here is just gonna be where I stop. There are dead bodies here, though, dude. Fuck. Someone had been here somewhat recently. Okay, now I'm in the safe zone. Alright, cool. Alright, holy shit, dude. Well, we ended up making it. That's nice. Happy about that. Actually, no, I'll keep the tech trash. Because there is a chance that I may need it. At some point for, like, solar panels and shit, you know? So, yeah, we should just keep it. That's pretty much all the freaking metal that I'm going to need. I even got more than what I expected because I recycled even more shit that I came uh, here with from getting down there. So, 5.4K. All right, let's go ahead and head home. I'm out of here. Dipping. Alright. Maybe I should have stopped a little bit before in case if anyone's like up here above like my transit spot. Thankfully it's not like a rad town or anything. It's just like a little like drop pod which I like. Let me get the fuck out of here. Oh shit I'm scared. Okay. Everything's fine Dylan.
There is a naked to my left, though. Pose the naked. And okay. Made it back home. Beautiful. Whew, that was a freaking successful run, and I'm very grateful for that. Okay, jeez. Again, sorry for the lack of PvP during this startup. I was pretty much dodging it any time that I could. Um, not because I wasn't, like, in the PvP mode. I was just in such... I was just so hyper-focused on going over to Oil Rig for a startup, which we did successfully do. And I'm excited to see where it goes tomorrow, because now we have some gear to work with. We can literally go there with a fucking AK and see what happens when people counter, right? So, that's gonna be a lot of fun. But yeah, this is gonna be the end of the video, though. You have a beautiful day or night, whatever time it is for you. I shall go do the same. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, my friend. Uh, if you made it here to the end of this video, comment smooth. Because I feel like this was a pretty smooth startup. We had that little bit of a hiccup where we died to that guy over there at Airfield, but thankfully it wasn't with a super major run. Thankfully I didn't have my key cards on me, so everything flowed pretty well after that point, I would say. And Yeah, I'm really happy about that. I'm probably gonna make a tier 2 before I get off and, yeah, I mean, that's really it. That's all that I really have scrap to do. I can't really research much, so. I mean, I'm, I mean, I could just research some shit and not make a tier 2. I don't know. I guess that I might do that, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Um, bye. Peace.